Om Shishumna. Om Shishumna. You came across, you had two accidents, right? Uh, and both accidents, very lucky you, you left those the car accidents without a scratch. The first one was when my husband was driving. It was late evening, almost night. Uh, when the It was 10 minutes before the accident happened. I was feeling that Baba Jigaru was traveling with us in the car and I closed my eyes with the mudra and when I opened my eyes, the car was in the shrubs. Later, my husband told that um, when the exit was approaching and he was about to turn, the rainwater from the puddles splashed on his windshield. That's why he accidentally turned a little earlier than expected. We, with Guru's grace, we came out of the accident without a scratch. The second one happened when I was driving at 70 miles per hour. That time, I was clearly feeling that Baba Ji Garu was with us in the car. There was a high difference on, on the shoulder edge of the road. And um, since my husband was on the other side, he was able to see the high difference clearly. And he instructed me to um, stay away from it. So when I realized and when I started to um, pull the car away from it, the car went zigzag the car went out of control and landed in a pathway in between the roads the pathway was very damp with the previous day's rain and the car stopped because of the wet soil that reduced the speed of the car that refrained me from going to the opposite uh, side of the road where the opposite traffic is coming both of us are saved from the accident without a scratch Later, the cop came and the AAA person came. While I was waiting for the cop to come, I was happily meditating because I have immense ba belief on Baba Ji Garu that he'll take care of everything for me. I had no tensions or worries, um, but was very balanced. And when I closed my eyes um, and I was meditating while I was waiting for the cop to come, my eyes were fluttering and I was receiving immense energies. The fluttering of eyes used to happen to me uh, when gurus were blessing us with the presence. Because when I and my sister um, uh, were praying for guru's presence during Sushumna Kriya Yoga initiation, the fluttering of eyes used to happen. Then it immediately struck to me that um, Baba Ji Garu was uh, present at that accident scene. And the energies that I um, received and the presence of uh, um, the gurus uh, the whole atmosphere, I was able to feel that until um, we went to the auto body shop. And those energies continued almost uh, towards the end of the day while our car was getting repaired in the auto body sh uh, shop that day. Um, while we were traveling to the auto body shop the, uh, with the truck driver, uh, the truck driver said the cop is a very angry cop. He always starts his day with a morning coffee in his hand, waiting to start giving tickets. So um, he was surprised that I did not get any tickets. Then it, then I realized this is also Sushumna Kriya Yoga Guru's uh, uh, grace that I uh, that the cop did not give me any ticket. So I'm really glad that meditation gave you the strength to to make it through the outcome of those accidents. The gurus are with me in every walk of my life. Sushumna Kriya Yoga is the greatest treasure of my life, and I can't imagine my life without Sushumna Kriya Yoga. Could you share how and why you started meditation? I got introduced to this practice in 2011 Jan after my mom and my cousin who attended Amagaru's initiation class in India. They were very impressed and they thought this technique is very effective. They wanted me to start practicing Sushumna Kriya Yoga right away because they know that I used to be always be preoccupied with work related issues even after coming home. As a Java developer, I used to have a lot of work pressure. What made you continue your practice? After I started practicing uh, this technique, I was able to see a lot of positive changes in me. It was as if a constant stream of energy was flowing within me. With the energy which I gained during meditation, I was able to do my daily activities more effectively and efficiently. Slowly, my work pressure got reduced and I was able to manage my career life well. Yeah. I still remember about 15 years ago when you came to join us at First Advantage. Yeah. You were my manager then. So it reminds me, you know, back in the day when, you know, you were looking for that perfect life partner and you had very strict criteria and, you know, we even used to write it up on the whiteboard and it was, uh, the, the being from the same state and same religion makes great sense. Uh, the job was important to you. The education was important. All. 
very valid things. And I know on your search, you know, there were there were matches along the way, or even matches that seemed like, seemed like it was a perfect match. And then as you guys did the background checks, or your parents did the background checks, blew the whole thing out of the water. You know, you're, I think everything happens for a reason. You know, karma, whatever. You know, whatever. You know, you did find that for perfect match. You know, shortly after that. You have two beautiful kids, you know, great family. So, so how did uh, meditation get you know, help you find that that life partner? How did that help? I remember having three matches on hand, and it was time to um, meet each of them and make a decision on one of them. During that time, I got a chance to talk to Amagaru, and Amagaru suggested me to make a sankalp, a strong wish that. I would do something good for the community in case if I meet a life partner of my choice. Surprisingly, three days after I talked to Amagaru, I was able to meet the, uh, my life partner. And within six months, when I went to India for my marriage, I met Amagaru in person. How was the top of your meditation guru? Amagaru? Um, how, how was it? Till then, I watched Amagaru's videos in YouTube and I was very impressed. But uh, the real connection, uh, I could experience the real connection when I talked to Ammagaru um, over the phone. The tears of happiness were rolling from my eyes. Maybe that's how our body reacts when the soul meets the guru of our life. That's what I felt. And uh, when I met Ammagaru in person, uh, I was uh, full of gratitude and power towards the gurus. I could experience the immense love in Amagaru's eyes. And when Amagaru called me um, over to the st uh, stage to hold cashew nuts, uh, the tears of joy um, rolling the entire time when I was on the stage. How was that? And I guess that got you into group meditation. And do you continue with group meditation? When I did meditation with Amagaru on Guru Pawnami Day, along with a huge crowd of disciples, I experienced something very unusual. The nerve on my forehead started to pull up and thereby my eyebrows raised up and I went into half eye open state. It happened to me naturally and effortlessly. From then, whenever I sit in meditation, I experience the same state. Um, the same half eye open state you see in Mahavdar Baba Ji Garu's um, portrait and um, Lord Shiva uh, pictures. The same state happened to me. Later, I checked with Amagaru. Uh, Amagaru told it's called Sambhavi Mudra and um, a very high uh, meditative state and this state is achieved um, for people who meditate in Himalayas or forests for fifth, around 50 years. I was able to, uh, Amagaru told that I was able to attain this state because of my gratitude and bhava towards the gurus. I was able to achieve this um, in a shorter time. Then I, I came to know the complete power of this meditation because in shorter time we were able to experience greater results gotcha nice next day i requested amagaru if i could get an opportunity to host a public class uh, where amagaru can give sushumna kriya yoga initiation so what made you choose this type of service i choose this service because it came to my understanding that among all the services spiritual service is the highest and among all the spiritual services a service to elevate one's soul is the highest and which can be achieved through Sushumna Kriya Yoga. And also one can eradicate their bad karmas by practicing Sushumna Kriya Yoga. Did the Amagaru approve for you to host your own class? Yeah, Amagaru approved, but the date and uh, venue of the class were not yet decided because there were also a couple of other disciples who are waiting on Amagaru's, um, who are wa waiting for an opportunity uh, for Amagaru's uh, public class, but I was given an opportunity way ahead of them for a reason which I came to know about it later. Amagaru confirmed the public class in Vijayawada in 2012 October on Lahri Mahasaya's birthday. In that class, more than 1000 people got initiated into Sushumna Kriya Yoga free of cost. So, what could be the reason for you hosting your own class very soon? A month before and a month after the class, Baba Jigaru saved me from two major accidents. It may be because the Gurus know ahead of the time that um, this is going to happen and uh, that's why maybe they gave this opportunity so that they can um, 
balance my karma and um, help me uh, to come out of this um, accidents without uh, any pain. I'm, I'm really glad the meditation gurus gave me so much strength. Baba Ji Garu's blessings are my strength to lead my life to the fullest. As a token of gratitude towards Baba Ji Garu, I again requested Amma Garu for a public class um, on Baba Ji Garu's birthday, that is on Kartik Pavanami Day. And this class happened in 2013 November um, in Satsasai Nigamagama in Hyderabad, where more than 1,000 people got Sushumna Kriya Yoga initiation free of cost by Amagaru. Guru's grace did not stop there. In spite of the major uh, complications in my pregnancy, I was um, able to have two wonderful babies. And with so much gratitude towards the Gurus who redesigned my life and uh, created a new reality in my life, I continued requesting Ammagaru for more and more um, public classes. With Ammagaru's grace, I got an opportunity uh, for a class in Guntur Club where more than um, 1000 people got initiated into Sushumna Kriya Yoga. I got an opportunity for another in Amlapuram and also an opportunity to co-host a class with my sister in um, Kasi Varanasi. I got an, uh, another opportunity in Vaisak recently for Yoga Day. I came to know the value to make Sushumna Kriya Yoga reachable to all. So I started um, a teach with Amagaru's permission. I started teaching in yoga, um, yoga studios and in temples and US. And also in my short, um, like six months trip uh, in London, I was able to teach in major temples like London Mahalakshmi Temple, Slough Temple, and uh, Shiddhi Baba Temple uh, in East Ham, and so on. Well, I think you're really very fortunate to uh, receive such great opportunities. Actually, we are all blessed to receive such a great technique which is designed by the Himalayan masters Babaji Garu, Mahavdar Babaji Garu and Bok Siddhar Garu and um, which was gifted to us through Amma Garu. Well, from what I've heard so far from what you've told me, it's just such an amazing experience. Thanks to the Gurus for giving me such a wonderful opportunity to share this with you. Om Shashimra. Namaste, Om Shashimra. I will share how I got my sweet kids uh, with Babaji Garu's and Amma Garu's blessings in my uh, next uh, episode.